Thanks, Chief. <laughs> so who's the big shots, one? Uh, they all look the same to me. Uh. <laughs> and that thing. Yeah, well, maybe some parts don't need help from the cold, what? Right? Yeah, but. Yes, what? Wherever you go, there you are. What? I said, wherever you go, there you are. That's stupid. Hmm. It's not stupid. It's an idiom. It's a stupid idiom. Do you even know what an idiom is? Hey, hey. He's Sinbad a sailor. It's not an idiom. I never said it was. <laughs> All right, Shakespeare. You just give me one that isn't stupid. Okay? Uh, well, you can take a horse to water, but a pencil must be lead. <laughs> Talk about stupid, eh? That doesn't even make. <laughs> That's all that I need in my life, eh? A bloody sit down comic. Yeah, but. You know. When we get the money for the shop, you chaps are just going to have to become a little bit more serious, you know? What for? I mean, about becoming serious, I suppose. Yeah, the bank will never lend us this money. You know what bank managers are like? Bank managers are just people. Oh, really? Yeah. And why do they behave like they made heaven and earth? Well, because it's their karma, you know? No, it's the golden rule. He who has the gold rules. Yeah, well, with us it's different. I mean, Huffy knows that bank manager so well. He's organized everything. All we've got to do in there is go in there and sign the papers. This shop thing is becoming a mission, you know. Why don't we just open a brewery? Hey, that's a good idea. Hey, we brew our own beer and we sell it in our own shop. I was only joking, you know. Well, a lot of good things come out of a bad joke. Just like this place. Hey. You know, my father liked his beers. In fact, my mother said he was exactly like a beer bottle. Empty from the neck up. <laughs> uh, tell him we don't do uh, uh, flat tires. I don't want to miss my clothes. No, no, no. We, we need the money for when we're going to town. What for? To buy the bank manager lunch. What? Don't they make enough money to buy their own food? No. That's how you do business. You first have meetings, and then you buy lunch. Yes. Nah, well, with Huffy bite, I mean, it was his idea. Huffy? <laughs> He's a snoop. He wouldn't buy his own mother a glass of water if she was dying of thirst. Made your point. Well, there you go. Eh? Uh, uh, no, there you go. It's your turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Can I help you? Can you change your tie? Yeah, sure. What do you mean, change into a frog? <laughs> well, I'd have done it myself, but I don't have a wheel spinner. Oh, shame, mate. Shame, shame. <clears throat> yeah, the spear looks buggered. Got a hole in it. Well. Can you fix that one? I'll have you know, sir, that our comprehensive services include the process of fixing a spare tire. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
You know, driving around out there without a wheel spanner is irresponsible. Not to mention a broken spare. You know, I always say, if things are not kept ship shape like you see here, <laughs> then everything just goes to the dogs. Oh, will you shut up right now? I'm Black Belt. Well, I don't care if you're a fan belt. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll keep my good advice to myself, eh? Sorry, I'm sorry, eh? I'm sorry. That's good, keep going there. $5.90. That's robbery. $65.90. How do you work that out? Well, it's $5.90 for the spares and $60 for the labor. <laughs> labor? What labor? $65.90. Okay, okay. $50 is good. Thank you. That's fine. Have a nice journey, eh? Something I said. There goes another satisfied customer. <sighs> so what do you think? Hey, hey. Is there something at the top that you did not want us to see? No, no, I had to tear it off quickly. Huh? If brewing beer satisfied my ancestors, then it's good enough for me. You know, if we really play our cards right, we could be richer than Croesus himself. Man. Who's Croesus? One of Gaffi's mates? No, Gaffi's role model. Really? Yeah. You think Gaffi will go with this beer story? Look, we'll only tell him when we're ready. Eh? Hmm? Uh, I can see the billboards now <laughs> saying, drink Oasis Lager. Hey, 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 that's nice. Oasis Lager. Yeah. Uh, Oasis Lager. Uh, Your bottled friend through thick and thirst. Yes, I like that. Oh, I have a way with words, you know. Listen to this. Make Oasis Lager your life's companion. Because beer doesn't complain when you have another beer. Beer doesn't cry when you forget its birthday. Beer doesn't make you do the dishes or mow the lawn. And remember, frigid beer is a good thing. Yeah, I should be in advertising. Hey, what do you think? Mm. I think you've got a chance of making your next birthday if you never, ever say that in public. Why? Now, don't shoot your mouths off with any Bandgat remarks. He's an old-fashioned guy, so just belt up and listen. OK? Now, like I said, I've known him for many years and done lots of business with him. So everything will be OK. But uh, surely we must say something to him when we meet him. We can't just stand there saying nothing and, and looking at him like dummies. Of course not. Make small talk, you know, something light-hearted. Okay, okay, I'll tell him about the guy this morning there who accused me of robbing him. Don't say to him that you robbed anybody. Why not? Thanks don't like competition. Okay. Uh, uh, just, just forget about it. Good luck. Do that.
Yeah, no, I don't think this bank is doing so good, eh? I can't even afford new furniture. Yeah. I don't know why Huffy chose this place. I mean, they're in trouble anyway. No, man, that's Sam Foe, huh? No, nah, it's this one. They none told me. He wanted to cash a check, and they wouldn't, so he asked them why, and they said, no funds. Ah, good morning, gentlemen. Hope I did not keep you too long. No, 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 no problem. This is uh, Swar. Ah. Yeah, do and know? I'm Boot. Uh -huh. And this is Mohai Rapudiotla. Ah. <laughs> Please uh, be seated. <laughs> ah. You know, I heard that the, the rand is falling again. Oh, really? I thought it was performing rather well. Where did you hear this? On the radio. You know that chap that always talks about money? Ah, you, you, you mean the economist, Mike Schulzer. No, it's actually a man called Dow Jones. <laughs> uh, yes, now, um, well... How may we be of assistance? Uh, we'd like to borrow some money. Ah, uh, yes, yes, so I gather. Uh, well, th there are several ways we can go about uh, uh, arranging this transaction. Uh. <clears throat> Would it be for vehicles, or equipment, working capital? I mean, what kind of business package did you have in mind? Listen, I don't know what Huffy's been telling you, but we don't want to build Sandton City, you know. Uh, really? Yes, well, no, yeah, of course not. What kind of loan did you have in mind? The kind where you give us some money and where we pay it back again, later. Yes, uh, uh, well, that's one way of looking at it. Come in. Ah, tea. Ah, thank you. Uh, 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 Swar, is it? Uh, would you mind uh, doing the honors? Me? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> ah, I see you admiring the china. I only bring it out for special clients. It's been in my family for hundreds of years. Yeah, I know, I guess he's old. Look, VOC. Very old china. Actually, Vrenachter Urs Indische Compagnie. See, I'm a keen antique collector. In fact, those very chairs you're sitting on once belonged to Cecil John Rhodes himself. Hmm? Priceless. Now, how would you like to structure your repayments? We can negotiate deferred payments if you'd like, but naturally that will affect the interest rate. Well, you know, for your benefit, you should keep the interest as low as possible. Our benefit? How's that? Well, if something goes wrong and we can't pay you back, then you don't lose so much money. Mm. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> yes, I, I heard you chaps had a, uh, what do you call it? Sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now, look, before we go any further, I think I should tell you what we require from your side before we can finalize that deal. <laughs> we would want your monthly expenditure and a projected cash flow for the 24th of the month. Then there's the business plan, hmm? I assume you have one. We will need a list of uh, qualifying assets, such as land and buildings at cost, land and buildings leased, the annual rental capitalized at 15%, plants and equipment owned, again, at cost, plant and equipment on HP, as capitalized in the balance sheet. Right, now. <clears throat> You may want to travel to promote mm -hmm. your new venture. So, um, costing, traveling, and accommodation costs. <coughs> are there any questions, gentlemen? Mm, no, no. There are other ways of going about this. Our bank generously facilitates mm. investment grants to people who want to start businesses, or is in your case, uh, uh, to people mm -hmm. who want to expand present mm -hmm. projects. Uh, these uh, grants are repayable over two years, with an additional year if your labor remuneration is more than 30% of your operation costs. Um, now, what you're going to need is insurance. Now, I know what people say about insurance, but it is better to be safe than sorry. 
We offer a comprehensive range of uh, insurance services, long-term and short. Of course, taking insurance with us is not a condition. You can take it wherever you like. If it was a condition, it would be a sort of blackmail, wouldn't it? And the banks would never resort to that kind of practice. And then there's the matter of life insurance. Hyde never insists that you take it out with us, but I do have some forms over here. <laughs> oh, uh, cook. Uh, my my yeah, uh, thanks, thanks, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, thanks for your time. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't know what you guys take to make you mess up like this, but it really works. So I suppose a loan's out of the question, then, eh? Not only is it out of the question, it's no chance. It's history. It will never happen. You've got a better chance of becoming the king of Albania. But uh, e even that's not so impossible, you know. My granny always said, uh, you can do whatever you put your mind to. All it takes is a little bit of brain and a lot of hard work. Don't you talk to me about brains. Because if your collective brains were chocolates, it wouldn't be enough to fill a smarty. No bull. So what now? First, forget about the shop business, because you will go bankrupt in a week anyway. I'll uh, go and drop you off at your bush palace. I must just quickly get something from the shop for Francina's friend. She's come to stay with us for a while. Well, if that isn't El Brorox and his sidekick, I'll be damned. I've got a sneaky suspicion some bucks might just have driven into town. Two old friends of mine that owe me big bucks have just arrived. Interesting. They're booking into the hotel. Very interesting. I'm gonna get you your money. Huh. Okay.